We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. Tonight, we've got a good matchup in store between the Milwaukee Brewers and the Cleveland Indians. Riding into the box, Tommy LaStella, and we are set for baseball here this evening. The third baseman, Tommy. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Good swing, just got to try and straighten that one out. Seven o'clock. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. A great job of changing speeds there. It's 0 and 2. And he takes strike three called on the fastball, and the leadoff man is gone to start the evening. So one away here with the bases empty, and striding into bat next, it will be Mark Canna. Oh, had him chopping at that one. It's nothing in one. And it's one and one. Not a bad night to bring the parka along. 54 degrees at game time. One and two. One ball. He doesn't have a big fastball, but he was able to get that pitch by him. And Matt, that's 100% a result of setting up with the off-speed pitches before it. If you're not a hard thrower, you could still have some success, but you have to learn how to mix speeds and set everything up. That was a nice job right there. Hunter Renfro is in with two away now as he looks at a called strike one. And he lays off for ball one. Now a swing and a miss, and he's behind one and two. If the offense didn't already know, man on the mound's got his A-game fastball working today. Breaking ball swung on in the dirt. The throw to first is in time, and the inning is over. Stepping into the box, Cesar Hernandez. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. And the pitch. And he can't get out of the way there, so the leadoff man will be aboard to open up the inning. At the plate, Francisco Lindor. He's set in the pitch. Love the fact that he's not scared to go right back inside with another fastball. I know he hit the last guy, but if he's going to have success, he's got to establish that pitch in. Hernandez aboard here at first with nobody out. Hit hard to the right side. Over to VR. To Pujols, and they get them both. Digging in the switch hitter, Jose Ramirez. Looking to get on base and keep this first inning alive. Curveball is nowhere close, and it's 1 0. Looked like he was a little over aggressive there to throw that nasty curveball. Just needs to slow his delivery down a bit. Oh, and here's a drive. Well hit out to straightaway center. Kenna has to retreat to the track, but he has it to retire the side. All set for the start of the inning, and stepping in the former MVP, Albert Pujols. Albert Pujols. Breaking ball is swung on and bounced to short. Reined in. Throw to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. Coming to the plate now, Robinson Chirinos, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. High and deep to left. This one's got plenty of distance, and it's gone. Dan Vogelbach is next. As he'll take a look at an off-speed pitch here that misses for ball one. Count is two balls and no strikes to the Brewers' DH. Hate to do it, but I've got to question the pitch calling right there. With a guy like this at the plate, you got to attack him with your fastball instead of pitching him like he's a middle-of-the-order power guy. And it's two balls and two strikes now. It's not easy to get your barrel to a pitch that high. That could be an effective location three. as long as he keeps it above the letters. Fastball strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger and there are two away. Jed. Jed Lowry is in with two away here as this one swung on and missed for the first strike. 
Barely able to make contact. Down 0-2 now. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Again, he sends it out of play. Here's another 0 2. Frozen for strike three, and that retires. Bottom of the inning now, and up steps the power bat of Pete Alonso. The designated hitter. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Alonso. Fly ball out toward left center field. Kenna is there, and he has it for the first out. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And that'll bring in one of the best on-base percentage players in the game, Carlos Santana. A ball and no strikes. Now a slider down the middle, but laid off. Yeah, I get it. They want to run this guy's pitch count up, but... That was a pretty good pitch to hit. He might be kicking himself that he didn't swing at that one. Two and one to the Indians' first baseman. And he pulled up in time, but it's a called strike two. Popped up. And there's out number two. Now batting, Josh Naylor will try to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. Here comes the first pitch. And right into the shift. Pujols has it, and he'll step on the bag himself. And the New inning set to get underway, and the switch hitter Jonathan VR will be the next to bat. And that one's in on the hands to start the inning. It's ball one. Two and oh now. Changed up on him as this is grounded a second. He's got it. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. So the base is empty here with one away. And into bat next will be Tyler O'Neill. First pitch curveball swung out and missed. Strike one. Fastball misses inside. It's even at one. One ball, one strike. A little behind on that swing, and now he'll try to shorten up maybe and protect the plate. Bases are empty. One man out. To two balls and two strikes now. Heading out towards shallow right. Luplo will come in a bit and put it away for the second out of the inning. Here's Tommy LaStella now. 0 for 1 here in the early going. First offering on its way. And that swung on and missed for strike one. Real nice curveball there. Had a lot of late break, and he waved right through that one. 1 and 1 to Tommy LaStella. Two out, nobody on. Maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. Just off the inside part of the plate, it's three and one. And this is taken low for ball four, and they'll have themselves a two-out base runner here after all. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Mark Canna will stand in for a second time here as he swings and misses there. It's nothing and one. Here's a late swing and a miss, strike two. I know that fastball registered at about 92, 93, but. And we'll have to leave it there. Bottom of the third now, and digging in is the outfielder, Jordan Luplo. The right fielder. He's ready, here's the first offering. Off the plate and away there, one ball, no strikes. And they won't get him to chase the curveball in the dirt that time, and it's 2-0 oh now. This is a spot you really don't want to be in with a great hitter like that. You can't just lay one in there, but you also don't want to run the count to 3-0. and oh. And good patience exercised as he works out the walk to lead off the home half of the third. From the stretch, Roberto Perez is at the plate now, and he takes a cold strike. 
Nice job by the pitcher right there to establish himself back into the strike zone. Would have liked to have seen the hitter been a little bit more aggressive in that situation. Usually when a pitcher throws four balls in a row, that next pitch you can get super greedy right down the middle. Hit sharply on the ground to the left. And there's the first hit of the game for Cleveland. And here's the second generation big leaguer Delino DeShields. 0-1 the count. Yasmero Petit is going to come on to pitch here. And in just the third inning, you have to think he'll be asked to eat some innings. First and second here with nobody out. Drops one down here, and he'll try to beat it out. And he'll easily make it to first as they won't even field this thing. Standing in now, Cesar Hernandez. Little dribbler up the first baseline. Foul ball, however, strike one. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0-2. Working for the punch out and the offering. Hey, this is a monster strikeout situation right here. The double play will be great in this situation, but I know he's going for the K. You get a one-two count on a guy, he's going to throw his nastiest stuff. Look out. That one almost got away from him. Two and two now. We can't hear it from here, obviously, but I think someone in the dugout just yelled, wear it, because that could have been a run. Seventh pitch of the at-bat coming up. Skied into straightaway right. Catch is made. Runner tagging from third. And the run will score from third as that ties things at one. Runners at the corners here with one guy in the inning. And with it comes Francisco Lindor to the plate. He's ready. Here's the first offering. In the dirt and block behind the plate. No movement on base. It's ball one. Pulled toward right center field. Center fielder coming on. He gets there, and that's the second out. And even with two away now, that ball just didn't get out there deep enough, so they'll hold him at third base. The third base Stepping in, Jose Ramirez. And their runners at the corners now. And no swing, apparently. Ball one. But there to get his big glove on it is Pujols, and that'll... Stepping in and ready for another shot. Hunter Renfro looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at-bat. Ah, got him fishing that time. 0-1. behind 0-2 now. Pitch on the way. And this is swung on and missed and this fourth inning will start the same way he ended the third with a strikeout and there's one away. Albert Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Albert Pujols is in for the second time now as he looks at a ball inside 1 and 0. One and one the count to the Brewers first baseman. A ball and two strikes to Albert Pujols. That's how you open up the outside part of the plate. Pound two balls in and they get right back outside. Nice pitch. Swung on in the dirt for the third strike. He makes the throw to first. Two down. 
Riding in once again, Robinson Chirinos. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. Well behind that fastball, it's a swinging strike. One and one to Chirinos. One run, just one hit, and no errors on the Milwaukee line score so far. And they'll go off speed here as this pitch misses. It's two and one. The count is two and two to the Brewers catcher. Boy, he looks strong out there on the mound this inning. He's got a chance to punch out the side in order and against the middle of the order, too. Count full, three balls and two strikes. And he's got himself another one as he picks up strikeout number nine here, and the side is retired. Now at the plate, Pete Alonzo. He flew out in his last at bat. Almost, Matty. Almost that's went that's deep his last AB. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this AB. Oh, right back to him on the mound. And he'll flip on to first to record the out. So now Carlos Santana. He popped out in his first trip. Yeah, Matty, and it looked like he got fooled a little bit. A little bit out front, ended up popping out. Expect him to be a little bit more leery of the breaking pitch this A.B. Swing and a drive to right. There it goes. And out of here. And I mean by plenty. That ball was crushed. To the plate now, Josh Naylor. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Kenna is there now, and he has it, two gone. So striding forward now, Jordan Luplo. He drew a walk his first time up. Now the pitch. It looked like the fastball got away from him there. That's a good take on a fastball out of the zone. Hey, I get it. He's looking for a ball to drive, but that ball was a little bit too far up in the zone. That's one you normally pop right up. Count now a ball and a strike. Two runs, three hits. No errors to this point for the Indians. And he lays off the pitch down and away. Ball two. Looks like this guy's afraid to throw the ball in the strike zone. Gave up that home run earlier in the inning. Needs to get back to being aggressive. Three and one to him now. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. And that's outside. He lost him ball four. At the plate, Roberto Perez. A base hit in his first trip. Lifted in the air to center field. Kenna is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire. Leading off the inning, Daniel Vogelback, and they'll need him to get something going here. Daniel. Well out in front of the breaking ball there for a strike. Guess where he's going with this next pitch? Probably a little further outside, see if the fish are still biting. Behind 0-2 now. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. And he will take strike three call. He's got another one, five straight strikeouts, and that's the first out of the inning. Second base. Jed. Wow. Now the pitch. Jed Lowry is in with one away now as he swings and misses here at strike one. Here comes the 0-1. In there, and he's ahead 0-2 now. Man, this guy's really pitched well so far, attacking the strike zone, and he's really kept these hitters off balance. Fifth inning, two to one our score. And he'll continue this roll he's on. Make it six strikeouts in a row. Gracious. Two away. Here comes the first pitch. Oh, and an ugly swing there. It's 0-1. 
I know we want to focus on the offense and how bad they've been so far, but can we give some love to the pitcher? He has had these guys in the rocking chair all day. Behind 0-2 now. Seven in a row. Flat out dominant, and the inning is over. Now at the plate, Delino De Shields. as we move past the halfway point in this one and begin the bottom of the fifth. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. And oh, he can't get out of the way of that one, so the leadoff man will be on to open the frame. Now at the plate, Cesar Hernandez. It was an RBI sack fly for him last time through. In there for strike one, 0 oh and 1. Good changeup, and it's 0 oh and 2. Two takes, and now he's down 0 oh and 2. I'm not sure, but he may have been taking to give a guy at first a chance to run. In there, a base hit. And that'll bring in the switch hitting Francisco Lindor. Line drive, and that's a base hit in the center field. The runner from second crosses the plate. It's now three to one. At the plate, Jose Ramirez. So go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Ross Stripling comes on now in an awfully difficult situation as there are two on here with nobody out. 0 oh and 1 count and the pitch. Runners are at first and third with none out. Check swing here as they'll appeal it down to Eric Summersgill at third and he says no swing. So it's ball one. Fouled off. And he popped him up over toward the left side of the infield. Lestella is there, and he's got it for the first out. Up next, the power bat of Pete Alonzo. Over for two for him to this point. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Now a big fastball, and he's well behind it with the swing. Check swing, but he held up in time. Ball one. Runners are at first and third, one away. Ground ball sent back up the middle to second for one. Throw on to Pujols. They get them both, and they end the inning. Leading off the inning, Tyler O'Neill as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. Fouled away. The 0-2 once more. He is swung on and missed. He got him. So the batting order turns over now and set to go. Tommy Lastella. It was a walk in his last trip. First delivery to him on the way. Good off-speed pitch. Had him out in front for strike one. Sometimes you just got to laugh at yourself. Hitting's the hardest thing to do in all of sport. You take an ugly swing like that, take a deep breath, step out, smile about it, and get back in that box and try and do damage. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Looking up is the right fielder. And this one is gone. A home run. So now it's Mark Canna. As he will line this one into right center, and this is going to get down and should be extra bases. Running hard, he's digging for second. And he'll reach second now with one away. Now Stepping in now, Hunter Renfro. And it's fouled away. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. Has a look, now the pitch. High fly ball out to straightaway center. 
DeShields is there. He makes the catch, and tagging is the runner from second. And he's up to third safely now with two gone in the inning. So striding in, Albert Pujols, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. Now you could just see this guy out on the mound right here, just the body language. He knows he's on top of his game, executing a nasty slider down the way right there. Got him looking, and that'll do it. The inning is over. Bottom of the sixth inning now, and that'll bring in one of the best on-base percentage players in the game, Carlos Santana. It'll be interesting to see if they use that changeup in this at-bat. That last at-bat, that was a changeup he hit for a home run. I'm going to see if this time they don't go to more fastballs and curveballs. Slider gets the outside. That's a strike. You can bet he wants that one back at the plate right now. That's a pitch you normally see a guy drive if he has the right approach going. Renfro is there, one away. Ready now, Josh Naylor. He's bounced out and flown out in his first two plate appearances. And here's a slider that's nowhere close, and it's 1-0. and Swing and a hard hit ball down the line in right. And that's into the outfield for a one-out hit. And this will find the wall deep in the corner. And he'll pull into second with one away. And now, Jordan Luplo. He swings and lines it to left. O'Neal is right there as he'll put it away without much problem for the second out. Into the box now, Roberto Perez. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Here's a first pitch slider that just tails out of the zone. It's ball one. Inside corner, a ball and a strike. Three twos are scored here in inning number six. Hit in the air down the right field line. And foul. Hit out toward second. And that'll get through into center field for a base hit. The throw home. Oh, but it's offline, so the run will score. At the plate now, Delino De Shields. He swings and hits it foul off to the right and out of play. Last time up, he was hit by a pitch. Ready with the 0-1. Now a swing and a fly ball. And he will get there to make the running play, and that will end the inning. Emmanuel Classe is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Seventh inning ready to roll, and that'll bring up the catcher, Robinson Chirinos. Even though we're moving into the back end of this game, they're only down by a couple of runs. You know that old slogan, a bloop and a blast. They could certainly use that right now. Strike one to start the at-bat. Got him reaching there, strike two. Tying run stands on deck, but it'll only matter if the guy in the box can get on base. Yeah, and that has to be his mentality at the plate right now, Matt. He can't be the hero, so he needs to do what he can to give the guy behind him a chance to be the guy. So it was a strikeout swinging. Robinson Chirinos becomes the first out of the inning. Daniel Vogelback is in for the third time as he swings and misses at that one. It's nothing and one. I love the fact that this batter continues to be aggressive, but after striking out twice already, maybe he's got to take a step back see the ball a little bit deeper and be willing to work deep into the count. Looking to put him away. Here's the 0-2. And he struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one. So digging in now, Jed Lowry. He was punched out looking at strike three last time through. Fielded cleanly. And a close play at first, but he's called out and the side is retired. Last half of the seventh here, and that'll give way to the veteran second baseman, Cesar Hernandez. Belted high and deep into right center. Center fielder looking up to the track, to the wall. And that one is gone! So here's Francisco Lindor now. As he'll take a tough pitch on the outside part of the plate for strike one. He's working on a one for three thus far. 
And it's quickly 0-2. He's empty here with nobody out. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. Outfield shaded toward right center. Here's the first pitch. The wind up and the 0-1. Pulled toward right center field. Kenna will range to his left and put it away. Two down. So here's Pete Alonzo. He was a double play victim last time around. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Here's a shot to left field and deep. Look at this. Onto the home run porch and gone. Now that Erasmo Ramirez takes over pitching duties, looking to get that final out now here in this seventh inning. Here's Carlos Santana now, as he'll watch one miss down and in for a ball, 1-0. and oh. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. Swung on and missed, 1-1. One and one. Bases are empty here with two men out. And right into the shift. Fielded cleanly by Pujols. And he is out on the tag. Ready for another chance. Jonathan Villar. No hits to this point. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle. It's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. And here's a pitch high and tight for a ball. One and one. Swing and a line drive. And this is going to find its way into left for a base hit and the leadoff man's aboard to start the eighth. Now that Into the box, Tyler O'Neill. As he rips it on the ground to second. Oh, it takes a nasty hop and he's unable to haul it in. To the plate now, Tommy LaStella, as it's on the ground toward the hole. And an off-balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow! Into the box now, Mark Canna. He doubled his last time through. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get. Maybe once an A-B, maybe once a game, maybe once a week. So he certainly capitalized on it last time. Uh, no plate discipline that time, and he's in the hole now, 0-2. Got him, and he goes down on strikes for the third time. So two gone now in the Brewers' half of the eighth, and that'll bring up outfielder Hunter Renfro. Swing and a miss on the slider, nothing in one. And he fouls this one off. Struck him out. Struck him out again. I... Trying to pick things up where we left off. Josh Naylor will try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Pujols has it. The tag, and he is out. Now in the box, Jordan Luplo. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Kenna is there now, and it's two pitches, two out. At the plate, Roberto Perez singled home a run in his last time up. First pitch of the at-bat, and he tries to hold back on the swing, but I think it would have been ruled a strike anyway. It's nothing in one. Swing and a liner, but foul. Here it comes on nothing in two. Hit down the third baseline. But a foul ball, and the count holds it 0 2. Strike three called, and the inning is over. I'll 
set to start the ninth in this one. And next to bat will be the first baseman, Albert Pujols. And we kick off the ninth inning with a swinging strike here. Nothing in one. And there's ball one. One ball, one strike. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. He struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game. Digging in, Robinson Chirinos. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. And he'll hold off on the slider here to start the at-bat. It's ball one. Now a swing and a miss, and I don't think he was expecting a pitch inside. It's one and one. A ball and two strikes now. Hey, that's the modern game right now, north-south. Elevate that high fastball and bury stuff in the dirt. Completely different from the east-west we came up playing. Now that so now to the plate, Daniel Vogelback. As he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty, it's strike one. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. And he'll look at a fastball just off the black, and it's even at one. Line drive to left. And that'll get down out there for extra bases. And they'll have runners at second and third following the one-out double. Now that Here's Jed Lowry now. He swings and rounds it to short. Reined in. Throw to first is in time, but meanwhile, the runner is in to score. Standing in, Jonathan Villar. And he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the night. Good deception on the slider there as he's way out in front. And this is swung on and missed. So now they find themselves down to their final strike tonight. That front door slider is a devastating pitch. And a step on first for the out, and the ball game is over. Wow. A nine-out save. That's three full innings. You don't see that very often these days. It's awfully nice to have a guy in the back end of your bullpen that can pitch that kind of work. And tonight's comes to an end. Six to three, the final. The Cleveland Indians took the lead in the fourth and held on until the end. Tristan McKenzie pitches well enough to get the W. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show.